We've all sat in class at one point or another and watched the clock, waiting for class to be over. With each second and each minute, that hand just kept on ticking around the wheel. You might even have worried that at some point, the hand would go backwards. Of course, it never did. But as you stared at it, you might have thought this question, what is time? And in this episode, we're here to answer that for you. Time is the most unknown of all unknown things. A quote from Aristotle. And here at Question, we think it's rather apt. Because in many ways, we don't know all the intricacies of time. But yet we all seem to have encountered in our daily lives many of its behaviors. One of which is the basic difference between time and space. When we move through space, we can go forward as far as we want and even turn around and go backwards. However, with time, there is an irreversibility that happens. When you sit on the couch all day and put off work until the night before, you aren't able to just go backwards to the start of the weekend. It's this irreversibility that scientists call the arrow of time. The idea that time always moves forward, and at least for us, there is no way to wind it backwards. Much like an archer can't rewind an arrow back into her bow. This irreversibility may define an aspect of time, but how can we describe the other important part of our arrow of time? It's forward motion. Well, we look to entropy. Entropy is the idea that the universe is in a constant march from order to chaos. It's a central component of the second law of thermodynamics. The state of entropy of the entire universe as an isolated system will always increase over time. To help understand, think of a castle. Each brick is laid perfectly and it's designed as best as it ever could be. However, the more time that passes, the more the stones get worn away by wind and water. The more rocks chip away and the structure may start to leak. That castle is the universe. And by looking at the wearing away of it all, we can tell that time is passing. It's also this idea of increasing entropy that scientists believe forms the irreversibility that I mentioned prior. You see, entropy can never be undone. Even in our castle example, you may replace the stonework, but the stone itself will still wear away, even if the stone is new. And in some ways, the act of replacing a stone is in itself entropy, because it's no longer the perfect stone we chose before. In this sense, there is no going back, because even trying to fix the present takes us into the future. Time is truly unknowable. We can chart its passing, but in many ways we don't know or truly understand its beginning or its end. It is the general view that our universe is 13.8 billion years old, and it started with the Big Bang in which an infinitely hot, infinitely dense singularity so condensed that the laws of physics broke down had expanded. This is the birth of our universe. And the best place we can say, the birth of time. We can't trace back before the Big Bang, so whether something existed before it, we could never know. In much the same way, we truly don't even know our end. We theorize it will come billions of years in the future maybe as soon as five billion. However, we are so small and so young compared to the titanic grandeur of all of time. As such, we will be long gone before we witness such an end. In that, I think the words of Shakespeare said it best. We are such stuff that dreams are made on and our little life rounded with a sleep. If you enjoyed this video and find yourself with even more questions, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment about a moment of your life when you pondered, what is time? Thank you and farewell until next time.